if you're super busy or if you don't want to spend too much time every day learning English because you have a lot of important things to do, then here are five different ways you can learn English efficiently with only spending about 30 minutes per day. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you can do is read a short story aloud every single day, just for about 30 minutes. Read a short story aloud. This is really good because when you read a short story aloud, you're going to be building your English vocabulary and practicing your reading skills simultaneously. If you're at the beginner level or the intermediate level, I would highly recommend that you use LingQ because as you're reading the short story, first of all, it's going to generate a short story about a topic that you're interested in and it will generate a story that is at your current level of English. On top of that, if there's any word or expression that you don't understand in the short story that you're reading, you can simply click on it and it will give you the full translation and breakdown. So it makes it very time efficient to learn new words and build your English vocabulary. And then on top of that, you can also practice your listening skills simultaneously by playing the short story through audio. You can read, listen to it, and learn new vocabulary words all at the same time. And if you really want to take it even a step further, you can work on your speaking skills too if you execute the shadowing technique. If you don't know what the shadowing technique is, you can Google it, but you can execute the shadowing technique and actually speak, listen, read and build your English vocabulary all at the same time. The app will generate the story for you each and every day, and it could take you less than 30 minutes per day to do this. So very, very efficient way to improve your English skills. Another thing you can do is you can watch short to medium length videos in English with English subtitles. Now, there are many different ways to go about this. So you can use apps such as YouTube, Instagram or TikTok to watch a short form content or even some medium length content too. The focus is it needs to be in English and it needs to have English subtitles. But the good thing about this that you cannot get by reading a short story is that if you watch these videos, it'll actually give you imagery and it'll show you people acting out different things, which will provide much more context in the way that words are actually applied in real, more interactive situations. Now, the most efficient way to do this is really by using an application for language learners. Fluent U is a good one because apps like these, they will simply just generate the imagery, generate the videos, have the subtitles. And if there's ever an expression or a word that you do not understand, you can simply click on it and it will give you the complete breakdown. It'll give you the translation, the definition and everything. That would be the most efficient way to do this. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description below for Fluent U. You can check out the free version, but if not, if you prefer using YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or your social media platform of preference, then you can absolutely do that too as well. Another thing you can do is listen to an interview or podcast in English each and every day. You can simply find an interview on YouTube or a podcast on any podcast podcasting platform that is less than 30 minutes long. The good thing about listening to a podcast or an interview is that the conversations are going to be much more realistic than a dramatic film or a dramatic TV show or even something that's staged on social media, such as TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. So that's the good thing about interviews and podcasts. And the words that you learn are going to be much more applicable to real life situations. In addition to this, listening to an interview or a podcast in English is something that's very easy to do passively. You can do this while you're multitasking, while you're walking from to and from a destination. You can play it on the audio in your car. You can do it when you're exercising, when you're cooking, when you're in the shower. You can play it on the speaker. It's just so easy and so flexible to listen to a podcast or an interview anywhere you go. This is something that you can't really do with a video because you actually need to see the imagery that you're consuming. But if you're listening to an interview or a podcast, there is no visual necessarily. So you can really do this just about anywhere at any time, as long as you have earphones or an audio player. 
Another thing that you can do is you can write or type out your inner thoughts, which can easily take you less than 30 minutes per day. So typically what I like to do is I will watch a video or even I'll just think about something that is on my mind and I'll simply write or type out my inner thoughts in the language that I'm trying to learn. Now, I do recommend that you type on a computer or you text it out on your phone. I recommend this because there are actually spell check tools that will correct your grammar as you're trying to express yourself. If you put a pen to paper or a pencil to paper, it's really going to be difficult to know what is grammatically correct, what is grammatically incorrect, which words you're spelling correctly, which words you're spelling incorrectly. So keep that in mind. And the last thing that you can do that can easily take you less than 30 minutes per day is speak your inner thoughts aloud by yourself or with a language partner. Now, you can easily do this by yourself. Typically, what I like to do, I'll watch a short five to 10 minute YouTube video about something that is controversial or something interesting. And then afterwards, I will express my opinion about what I just watched. And I'll say what I think, how it made me feel, if I agree with it, if I disagree with it. I'd recommend you do this. This is a very good way to practice your speaking skills and actually think in English about how you would articulate something if you were speaking with a real person face to face. And then eventually, when you do speak with real people face to face, it'll be a lot more natural and a lot easier because you practice doing this by yourself many times every day. Another way you can do this is actually speaking with a real language partner. This is a little bit more difficult than doing it by yourself because you actually need to find somebody who is capable of helping you. So you can easily find free language partners on applications such as HelloTalk. It's a language exchange app. It's completely free and accessible to everybody. Although sometimes it can be difficult to find someone who is equally as motivated as you to learn a new language and someone who's actually qualified and willing to help you. You might talk one time and then they'll fall off the face of the earth. You'll never hear from them again. So it can be kind of difficult with applications like this. Another way to go about this is by using a real language tutoring application. The one that I like to recommend is called Language Talk. And the reason I recommend it is because the tutors on there are very qualified and they will give you their undivided attention. And it is their mission to make sure that you successfully become fluent in English. English. So using a language partner on a real language learning application or a language tutor can be much more beneficial than trying to find somebody for free on Facebook or HelloTalk or even by practicing by yourself, depending on the situation of your life. If you need to learn English for work or if you're just trying to become somewhat conversational. So to recap, five things you can do in less than 30 minutes every day. Read a short story aloud, watch a short to medium length video in English with English subtitles, listen to an interview or podcast in English, write or type your inner thoughts, preferably on a phone or a computer, and speak your inner thoughts aloud by yourself or with a language partner or with a qualified English tutor. Test these things out. Let me know how it goes. You can always shoot me a message on Instagram. If you like further details on how you can become fluent in English from start to finish, step by step, have a free guide. I'll leave it in the pinned comment below. Check it out. That's all until next time.